greetings and uh, plenipotentiaries. It is Sunday morning, January 3rd, 2016, and uh, Sir Herbert Reed and I are uh, here to uh, entertain you briefly with the uh, story of the uh, artwork here. Here are uh, two photos of Sir Herbert Reed with his trademark uh, bow tie, bow tie and a feather here. For the uh, occasion, I uh, put on this bow tie, which had been my father's, who uh, passed on uh, 20 years ago. Be this February 2nd will be 21 years since he uh, kicked the bucket. And uh, the uh, bow tie in the first portrait I did uh, was drawn from uh, the uh, image here. But the uh, bow tie I added to the uh, second portrait, also done last January, I uh, drew from the uh, from my uh, old man's uh, bow tie. So <clears throat> since uh, the last uh, segment, I watercolored in the uh, ocean and sky around the sailboats, the fast moving uh, uh, motorboat, the freighters, the uh, crane on the platform, all on Puget Sound. And uh, I used some of the uh, same images I had used as uh, for several drawing sections of Primo Levy with Arg Fish, the artwork from 2012-13. There's a video up about that. Uh, these are sketches I had done for a uh, solar system and creation of the earth, mountains and sun and sky and so on. I believe I did these, it was either summer or more likely fall of 1972, like for a mural project, which was uh, unrealized beyond this. I see I'm missing, I've got A, B, C, D, E, D, F, G, H, and I, but I have lost E. And then there were three separate sections here, each kind of numbered me, 23rd Avenue. Now there's a 23rd Avenue in Seattle, but I was living in Champaign, so there must have been one in Champaign or Urbana. And it looks like I'm biking got uh, flying saucers and so on. Some of this imagery was reinterpreted for the Primo Levi work. Um, but I uh, was inspired by this because I still bike. So over here we have uh, AKS biking Champaign, Illinois, 1972, and like a plus sign, 2015 Seattle. So uh, just to reiterate, we've got the epaulettes uh, and I added a little description here for viewers if it's exhibited somewhere. The top of a toothbrush I bought in West Palm Beach, Florida. Puget Sound gefilte here. And then as far as the other creatures snoozing in the sun there is in, uh, inspired by this uh, big old lizard, almost like a Komodo dragon size here and panel B of the original 1972 sketches. Now, let's see what else we have here. Creature-wise. Aha, here we have the, uh, this uh, kind of dino bird like hatching out of uh, an egg, two eggs astride it. We have that here, and I've titled it there, The Dawn of Life Boyd. <clears throat> We have, well, here's an interesting little fish here. Kind of, uh, uh, perhaps that was the inspiration for what I did here. A tentacled peanut butter jellyfish. Birds, well, we have at least uh, additional, here's a uh, creature running along here which would be reinterpreted there. You can come in. Kids, they might enjoy this. And then we have a fast moving void over here. And uh, this uh, the dawn of man here. Actually, in the succession of the original drawing, we've got the, the hatched dino bird to like a, kind of like a 
giant cat gorilla moves on to caveman and woman uh, in the subsequent panels. But we have, uh, here's the, uh, the early man in the center there. This uh, creature here, which kind of like a bird-like bill. And uh, we have these two uh, up here. So, um, I think that's it. The only thing I forgot to mention, ah, here we go. So that would be the inspiration for that one there. And the one over here would be from the one on the uh, lower right there on the uh, pencil sketch from 72. The only thing I should add, an homage to uh, uh, Sir Herbert Reed being uh, British, I bought this hat in London, 1985. It's still held up pretty well. There you have it, folks. And on that note, vive l'art, viva. Thanks for watching, cheers, akiva. Or as they say in Firenze, accavaccio. <laughs>